And you ready? My elevation, what is my elevation right now? 90 degrees. Parallel to the yeah. parallel to the floor. So it is already starting to build slight triangular. Why does that build slight triangular, Connie? What? I was watching through the thing. I wasn't listening. If I am bringing hair out parallel to the floor, why does that build slight triangular vertical shape? Because when you lay it down, it's going to... Because to build... Line is a graduation? Is that... Mm -hmm. no, no, because... <laughs> no. Because elevation is... What is my elevation? Parallel to the floor, which means it's not at the base, right? So if I'm not at the base, that means I'm over-directing. And if I'm over-directing, I can't create round. So with each section, slightly higher. And I'm constantly moving with my over-direction to make sure that I'm not building length in the front, right? Keeps dimming on me. Start over directing slightly away from the face. What is that gonna do to the length? Preserve. Big words. So hold it, and then I'm going to come out. How come I am combing hair away from the face? and that towards the face. Tara? Uh, so yeah. think about, don't think about it. I wonder what Marina is doing here. Think about when do you people. want to comb the hair towards the face? When do you want to comb away? When do you comb hair towards the face? And do I comb hair towards the face? Yes. So when you're cutting, so when you're doing like, round layers. Yes. Round. So let's it's say you're doing guide. round layers, uh, and you're combing hair towards the face with each section. Mm -hmm. Are you hoping to create the same amount of movement in the back as the front? Less movement. Less movement in where? The back. In the back. So your tendency would be to over direct towards the face to preserve mm -hmm. some of the length. So since I want to make sure that I stay really round on my horizontal shape, I do over directing away from the face to go round. Because if I over direct forward, 
You wouldn't be cutting off. And, and I, I mean, I would still be doing, but I will have more tennis to do that. Oh, yeah. That's going to be in that video. So my section is getting a little bit wider here. So really make sure that you're following the guide between your fingers to still create that corner that we have in here. That blend and uh, always choose to go from the bottom up here because blending it to the existing length is more important for me. I could always go shorter because mm -hmm. I'll have more tendency to go longer, not shorter on the top. But if I go longer on the bottom, I would have to recut that. all these Instagram videos, maybe a big company will hire me. That'd be so great. That would be cool. And, <clears throat> and then you'll never be here, and then that would suck. No, no. <laughs> and then, like, imagine doing, like, classes in here oh, yeah. for a big company. That would be cool. That was really sweet of you, Taryn. <laughs> it's I really know. sweet that you want me here. <laughs> <laughs> Usually I feel like... <laughs> Quite the opposite. Oh. You'd be like traveling the world, which would be pretty sweet. I'd be a little jealous. <laughs> Rob was saying, because I made a comment to him about that, because I got a bunch of like, new followers on Instagram now. And uh, he was like, if you get to travel the world, are you going to bring me with Take around? Me with you. <laughs> I go, uh, yeah, you're going to cook for me and you're going to be a personal trainer for the team. How awesome would that be? He's like, I can make that work. Really cool. <laughs> Healthy hairdressers. A chef and a personal trainer. Okay. Here. 